Hey guys, how are you doing? If you have recently bought an iPhone 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max, you might be wondering which optimized battery charging feature you have to use to protect your iPhone battery health over a period of usage. When you navigate to settings and then scroll a little bit and then navigate to battery and here under battery health and charging, you can check your battery health percentage. Over period of time, over months of usage, it will gradually decrease. Based on my observation and experience, I have shared the tips that you can follow to maintain your battery health and possible reasons why you are seeing such sudden drop in battery health when you are using your iPhone. I'll leave a link to that in the description and in the first comment. Kindly check if you need any clarification regarding that. Coming back to the topic, under battery health and charging, you can see charging optimization and with iPhone 15 and above models, we will be seeing optimized battery charging 80% limit none. For all other earlier iPhone models like iPhone 14, 14 Plus Pro, Pro Max and below that we will see optimized battery charging or none, just two options. But with iPhone 15, Apple have introduced this 80% limit and I will explain both these options in this episode. The very first thing is optimized battery charging. Since this feature introduced, I'm using it and the basic functionality of this optimized battery charging feature is whenever your iPhone charge reaches from 0 to 80 percentage, it will do the fast charging only if there is any temperature rise to certain level like 35 degrees Celsius or some higher level, then the charging speed will automatically be reduced. Otherwise, if it reached 80% based on your previous week's usage and charging pattern, the charging after 80% will be either faster or it will be slower to protect your iPhone battery health. To automate the process of charging, you know, from 0 to 100% every time, according to your usage, people are actually worried after getting their iPhone whether their battery health will decrease faster and will they be asked to change their battery within a year usage or under a couple of years usage. So to prevent that Apple have implemented this mechanism uh, optimized battery charging feature which will automate the process so according to your usage it will charge above 80% or cut off the charging after the 80% or even it does slow charging after that 80% if you leave the charging cable connected or the wireless charger is connected with your iPhone. Now with the second new option that iPhone 15 users are noticing is 80% limit. What this feature does is like it will limit your charge at 80 percentage similar to the optimized charging but instead of following your usage pattern based on the previous days or weeks of usage pattern it will strictly cut off the charging at 80 percentage but Apple website also highlights that this 80 percent limit may not happen all the time and there is a override functionality in place you can see in this gray text that occasionally charge to 100 percent to maintain accurate battery state of charge estimates so all at the time if you have selected 80% limit, your iPhone will charge up to 80% and it will cut off the power supply. Then when the battery drains over the period of time, like if you leave the charging cable connected and the battery reaches 75%, then again the charging will happen to fill out the balance 5% to make it complete with the 80% battery capacity. So some users may ask a question like, I have kept the 80% limit in my iPhone 15, but still I'm seeing that the charge is crossing that 80% percentage limit mark. So this is the reason that there is an override functionality which occasionally happens and not all the time. And my suggestion is like if you're new to iPhone or you have recently got the iPhone 15 upgrading from the older iPhone model and confused to choose between optimized battery charging at 80 percentage limit. As I said in our iPhone battery health maintenance tips video, I prefer keeping the optimized battery charging because someday my usage will be within that 80 percentage limit it Otherwise, sometimes it could be higher than that. So every day morning when I charge my iPhone and when I disconnect, I want to make sure that the battery is either 80 percentage or higher according to the time I leave the phone connected in the charger. 
this will not affect your iPhone battery health. Trust me, as I said in that video, you can follow one simple practice where you have to charge your iPhone whenever it reaches around 20% mark, the time that the low power mode prompt automatically appears on your screen, whether to charge your iPhone or not. So based on my experience since iPhone 7, I'm using the same practice and able to maintain my iPhone battery health at 100% for most of the time. Of course, it entirely depends on your usage. If your usage is above average or for normal users, one percentage average a month and some months it won't reduce and overall we will get 2.5 years mark to reach from 100% to 80% battery health. Then we will change the battery at Apple Service Center to continue using the phone at peak performance for next couple of years or little more. If your usage every day is going to be less or you have frequent access to the charging cable, then absolutely it is okay to set the 80 percentage limit otherwise for most of the time according to your usage the optimized charging feature will automatically manage and take control of the charging speed after 80 percentage which i think really effective you know we cannot keep on worrying about the iphone battery uh, charge how much charge left when we go outside even an additional 10 percentage battery capacity will be helpful under low power mode if it comes around 20 or 30 percentage you can simply turn on the low power mode from the control center and you can continue using it for extra few hours instead of unable to use it for some emergency purposes. So I hope this video helped you to understand which charging optimization you have to use on your iPhone. For more useful iPhone, iPad and Mac related tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe and you may check our recent wallpaper edition for this Christmas and many more collections in our new dailywalls.net website. I'll leave a link to this also in the description and in the first comment, you may check and see which one you like it. Both free and paid wallpapers for iPhone are available. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.